Hi, I'm Jason Walcott and this is Walcott Fine Art. After I posted my first video on mediums, I got so many great questions and comments that I decided to do a Mediums 2 video. So today, we'll take a look at some of the ones I didn't cover in the first video and I'll explain to you what other options you have for mediums. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I am going to be going over some of the mediums for oil painting that I did not cover in my first video. So let's get started. The first ones that I'm going to talk about are the more traditional ones. And uh, so these all contain genuine turpentine. So if that's something that you're sensitive to, you probably would want to avoid these, but these are other options you have for commercial mediums that you can buy. Uh, now this is Utrecht's, they make their own oil painting medium. Uh, and this is traditional, uh, they use the Damar mixed with the linseed oil and the turpentine, uh, the genuine turpentine. Um, but it comes pre-made and uh, so that's a convenience uh, medium you can buy, you don't have to make it yourself and it is the traditional one, uh, like I said, made from uh, linseed oil, turpentine, and Damar varnish. Uh, so sometimes I'll keep that on hand just for convenience. Uh, and you can get that from Utrecht. Uh, the Utrecht brand is now owned uh, by Blick, so you can also get this stuff from Blick, I believe. And then these other two tubes I have here, these come from a uh, man who uh, makes his own sort of artisanal mediums, I guess you could call them, uh, and that's James Groves. And I discovered his website uh, about six months ago, uh, and he's got a lot of great information about traditional mediums uh, that have been used through the centuries. And he's done a lot of research about them, and he makes his own mediums, and he sells them on his website. So I'll put the link uh, to his site up uh, on the screen and in the description so that you can check it out if you want to see it. Uh, but this is a two tubes I ordered from him. Uh, now, this is 19th century McGilt, which is basically the same thing as the Meroget that I showed in the first video. Uh, and then there's Copeball Jelly Painting Medium, which is similar to this, but it's a little bit of a different formulation. But again, these do contain the traditional materials like turpentine. Uh, so if you're sensitive to that, you might want to be cautious about using these. Uh, but these are just basically gel mediums, um, like a couple of the other ones I showed in the previous video. Um, but these are pretty, actually inexpensive for the fact that he makes makes them himself. Uh, so it's the same type of gel as we saw before. So, that, you know, you could mix that with your paint for making it more smooth or glazing with it. or uh, But it has that same thick citrope thixotropic property that I talked about uh, in the previous video. Uh, and um, so that's something that you might want to check out uh, if you want to try something that's a little unusual. And these run about $25 each. Uh, so they're they're less expensive than the old master's marriage. So, but now the mediums that you're more likely to encounter uh, in the store, in an art supply store online, are going to be um, these that I'll show you next. Now, this is Windsor Newton uh, Artisan Painting Medium. Now, these are made for the water mixable oils, but they can also be uh, used with traditional oils. So, this is just a mixture of, um, I think, solvent, like a odorless solvent, like um, turpenoid type solvent and uh, either linseed oil or stand oil or something like that. Uh, and they also make a non-water, you know, mixable uh, medium that's just called the painting medium, but that's by Windsor Newton. It'll come in a bottle that looks the same. Uh, I probably grabbed this one by accident <laughs> uh, since I don't use the water mixable oils, but, but it's just a traditional liquid type medium um, like that, but it's, uh, there's no turpentine in this. It's just the uh, 
the oil and the odorless solvent. Uh, now it does still contain solvent, um, but it, but like I said, it's the odorless kind, uh, so that's a little less toxic. Uh, so that's your basic painting medium from Winsor and Newton. Uh, and then of course Winsor Newton also makes the liquid, uh, which I showed in the first video, which is an alkyd-based medium, which dries quickly. Now that um, these alkyd-based mediums are also made by Gamblin, so this is kind of Gamblin's equivalent of Winsor and Newton's liquid, uh, and this Neo McGilp, as it's called, uh, is an alkyd-based gel. So again, this is the type of gel that will uh, dry very quickly. Scoop a little out there to show you. Uh, so you can see that this is a gel. Um, just like the, uh, just like the liquid or the, uh, uh, Merger gel, which is the traditional one, um, that kind of has that same property to it. But again, this is an alkyd based, uh, gel medium, this Neo McGilp, and it will, so this, you know, if you mix that in with your paint, that'll dry. Uh, within about 24 hours or so and then you can paint on top of it um, so you could probably glaze with it or or just mix small amounts of it with your paint uh, to get them to dry faster uh, so if you if you use a layering technique in your paintings that will allow you to uh, get back to the layering more quickly and get to the next stage more quickly um, quite a number of artists I know of that use these uh, gambling alkyd based mediums be because of that fast drying property that they have and their other common one uh, is this galkid uh, which is just a combination of gambling and alkyd uh, so it's their commercially named product uh, now this one is a liquid rather than a gel so this m mimics more the traditional like black oil medium like the one that I showed you in the first video uh, but again this is uh, alkyd base so it will dry quickly uh, within 18 to 24 hours uh, uh, but it functions as a more traditional liquid medium uh, that artists would make themselves so that's something to uh, try out if you'd like to try those out and see how they work for you uh, now again the thing that uh, I just want to reiterate go over again is all of these mediums that I just showed you uh, this one and these gal uh, the Galkid and the Alkid based mediums, these all do still contain uh, solvents. Now they are the, as I said before, they are the odorless um, mineral spirit based solvents, but they still do have solvents in them. And I know that some people are concerned about that, or some people have you know allergic problems with that type of thing. So Gamblin does make this line of solvent free mediums and I picked up this little tube of it uh, just to show you and so this is a medium that's made and it contains no solvent at all so if that's something that is a problem for you then this is a product you definitely want to try out because uh, you'll be able to use it uh, and it's a gel medium uh, just like something but you can see it's a little lighter in color uh, but because it has no solvents in it, it will not uh, bother people who are sensitive to that type of thing. So just to test it out here, uh, it is a little tiny bit thicker than some of the others, uh, but it does seem to work very well and it makes the paint more spreadable as you can see here and a little more transparent. So uh, again, you could probably mix small amounts of it with your paint to uh, ease the flow or more of it to if you wanted to glaze and do effects like that um, But again, that is free of any solvents. So so that's really good for people who need to avoid um, Any kind of solvent at all and that's the Gamblin's uh, Solvent free gel uh, so you can see that's what it looks like and the last um, possibility uh, that you could try I don't unfortunately I don't have an example to show you but I'll put a picture up on the screen um, if you're sensitive to solvents the other thing you can try is 
uh, oil spike of lavender and it's basically um, a thinner slash solvent slash oil that's made from lavender flowers and it can be used uh, directly in place of turpentine in any of the traditional mediums so you can use it to make damar varnish it will dissolve the damar uh, you can use it uh, as a mixtures in mediums. You can use it to clean your brushes. Uh, and it supposedly is, from studies that have been done on it, completely non-toxic. Now, the problem with that is that I found personally, I ordered some from Jerry's Artorama. And I ended up having to send it back for a refund. And the reason is that even though supposedly it's completely non-toxic, uh, I found that the smell, the lavender smell, was so strong um, that it actually gave me a headache. Uh, and it affected me worse than genuine turpentine does. Now, I'm lucky because I, I genuine turpentine doesn't bother me in low amounts. And I always keep my studio very well ventilated, uh, which I always recommend. You always use lots of ventilation when you're working with any kind of solvents. Uh, but even with the ventilation, I found that the lavender smell just was really overwhelming. Uh, and because I tend to be sensitive to smells like that, I found I actually got a headache from it. Uh, and I ended up sending it back to Jerry's. And uh, so, so depending on how sensitive you are to odors and things like that, that's something to consider. Uh, but it supposedly is non-toxic uh, and it can be used as a perfect... 100% substitute for a genuine gum turpentine. Uh, so you can try that out uh, if you want to and see how you like it. Uh, but again, just be forewarned that the, the lavender odor of it is, is very, very strong. It kind of almost smells like uh, Vicks Vapo Rub a little, at least to me it did. <laughs> but it's just something to keep in mind that you can try. So uh, those are some other mediums that you can test out and use, including the solvent-free medium so i hope that this was helpful to you and functioned as a good uh supplement to my mediums one video and i thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you next time take care thanks so much for watching go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video and why not spread the joy be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!